did you think of uh, Steph tonight? Incredible. Um, put us on his back, willed us to a win, much needed win, um, game we had to have. Came out and showed why he's one of the best players to ever play this game. Um, you know, and why, you know, this this organization has been able to ride um, him to so much success. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Marcus in the back. Marcus Thompson, The Athletic. Draymond, when you see Steph shoot like that and play like that, you know, everybody can witness that part. But what could you say about, like, his toughness, you know, against a defense like this, you know, with his foot hobbled? What, what do you what, what could you say about how resilient he is? Uh, same thing I've always said. Um, you know, him is one of the most resilient, toughest guys that I ever played with. Um, you know, the way defenses guard him, they're constantly grabbing, um, and, and he just continues to play. He don't make much of it. He just continues to do what he does. So, you know, it just says a lot about his toughness. Um, and his competitive nature and what it truly means to be a winner. Tim on the right. Draymond, uh, what was your reaction? When you, were you surprised when you got taken out when you did in the fourth quarter? It looked like you were not thrilled by that. Uh, and how did you kind of go through the offense, defense kind of substituting it out towards the, at the end of the game? I definitely never thrilled coming out of the game with seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter in a must-win game. I'm not going to sit here and act like uh, <laughs> I was thrilled. Um, I'm a competitor. But um, at the end of the day, if that's what coach decides, then you roll with it. And, you know, I had to keep my head in the game. And, you know, whenever I went back in, try to make some plays. And so uh, that was just my mindset. You know, don't make too much of it. Uh, I've, always, I've always been of the, um, on the bandwagon of, you know, if you got something that's rolling, you, you stick with it. So it is what it is. Dan in the middle. Draymond, Dan Devine, The Ringer. Uh, you talked a lot the last couple of days about the importance of force, you know, bringing it, uh, being the leader of that charge. Uh, how do you feel that you did tonight? Obviously, the half-court uh, half defense was sensational, did a much better job of stretching out, getting to their spots. How do you feel like you did in terms of bringing that force? I today? thought it was a lot better, um, you know, and you could see that, you know, in the numbers, you could see that with the eye test, uh, you know, however you want to shake it. So I thought we played with a lot more force tonight, and, you know, the, the team that has – has won. So, you know, that's the key to this series. Kendra up front. Uh, German, Clay was saying how sometimes maybe you guys take what Steph can do for granted and you guys really have to help him on Monday as he's put this team on his back. What do you see the team needing to do and then you from an individual standpoint to help Steph? Uh, I think, you know, you as a team, you kind of do all you can to free him up. Um, you know, they're always throwing one. Uh, two or three bodies at him in a given possession, uh, sometimes four, you know. So uh, you just try to do what you can to help free him up to get him to his spots um, or to open up some space for him to create and get to his spots. And, you know, for us, we, we just got to continue to to fill in where we may. Um, you know, you got a shot, take it. Um, you know, if you're screening for him, screening for Clay, whoever it is. Uh, just doing all of that with force. I think if, if everybody's forceful on the offensive end, you know, and that means cuts, that means crisp with your passes, uh, you, know, you know, then you allow him to be in the position to do what he do. Mark, back right. Uh, Dre, and uh, typically with Steph, his motion comes in the fourth quarter. And I don't know if you saw it, but early in the first, he made a couple shots and started screaming at a crowd for a timeout. Did you sense – that he was going to have something special uh, with that kind of motion early? Yeah, he wasn't letting us lose. Um, that's just what it boils down to. And, you know, you, you hear all the noise for a day or so. And, you know, I, I could tell in his demeanor last couple of days, even after game three, um, that, that he was going to come out with that type of fire, and he did, and we were all able to follow it. Another question on the right. Yeah, what did you just think of, of Wiggins, Looney, and Poole and what they gave? Uh, they all gave great minutes. I love JP's aggressiveness coming out. Like, he came out hunting his shot, and we needed that. Um, Wiggs has done what he's done all playoffs. Uh, make it tough for the opposing star to score. Um, got in the teeth of the defense. Rebounded the hell out of the ball, uh, which he's done all playoff long. And then Loon, uh, just making those extra plays. Had some great finishes around the rim. Uh, great rebounding, 
great inside physical presence for us. All three of those guys, they've been big for us all playoff long, and they showed it again tonight. Last couple of questions in the middle here. Hey, Trey, as you said, they're swarming Steph on the perimeter, trying to run them off the line. How important for you are those four-on-three opportunities to try to get into the teeth of the defense and make a play? I saw you made one to Looney late in the game. Uh, I mean, you know, when they're throwing two guys at Steph, someone has to make the play. I've made a living off that, uh, you know, so um, – you know, that's what it boils down to at that point in the game. You know, we obviously we always want to find Steph. As as anybody I think anybody would if you you're on his team you're going to try to find him. He he converts at a very high clip. And so but in a time like that where they're throwing two guys at them and they're saying we're not going to let him beat us right now, somebody else has to make the play. And you know, I was able to get a drop off to Loon on two on one and he had a great finish. Final question, Chris in the back. Chris Haynes, Yahoo Sports. Dre, you and some of the players been in similar situations to this in the finals, being down, having to regain home court advantage. What has been your message to the other guys and that haven't been here and getting prepared for this moment? Because you're going to have to come back here to Boston the game. So. Uh, just, just understanding the force that we need to play with, the focus level that it takes to go on. On, a, on the road and, and win in a tough environment like this. And, you know, I think our young guys have been great. They've adjusted to everything that we've asked of them. And, you know, it shows. And, you know, um, well, we played nine guys tonight. I think every guy who came in, you know, had a good impact on the game for us. And so um, just telling them to stay the course. Understand that, you know, teams like this, they come out, they punch you. Just got to stay the course, continue to chip away at it for 48 minutes. And if you put a solid 48 minutes together, give ourselves a chance to win. Thanks, Draymond.